Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching Four Takes. So, on this 22nd of the September, developer Vikas and the Rise Dot team has finally released Android 13 based Rise Dot 6.0. But before flashing that, I was using the latest version of Cherish OS 4.0 Android 13 version, which is also one of the stable and the most customizable Android 13 based ROM. You can check its video from the iCard. As most of the top performing Android 12 ROMs development has been stopped like the Cyberia Evolution X, Nameless, Awaken OS. Now the only hope is remained in the form of these regular maintained ROMs like the Cherish OS and the Rise Droid. Flashing processes like old build that you can check from the iCard. I did the flashing and thoroughly tested this ROM, its customization features, stability and the performance. So watch the video till the end if you want to find a verdict to upgrade from the Android 12 Rise Droid to Android 13 based Rise Droid. So now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. On a new adventure. So phone finally booted with the same boot animation of Rise Droid last build. As I already gone through the first time setup, my device directly booted to the Rise Droid launcher. Now let's check out about phone section. Here you can see we are now upgraded to the Android 13 based Rise Droid. Similar to the old build in the about phone, you can see the device detail with the device picture and the currently running wallpaper on the device. This is the Android 13 based build with the new easter egg of Android 13. This is Rise Droid version 6.0 Ice Cream Pixel. Security patch is updated to the latest September 2022. Build date is of 22nd September. Kernel version is 4.9.258 Primus. So basically all the stuffs of old Android 12 based Rise Droid has been added in this build also. As Rise Droid is known for the lots of customizations with the fluid performance and the stability. So let's check out the customization feature that you get in this build. Like the old Rise Droid Android 12 based ROM. Here you get the separate customization tab under the customization setting. But here is only two separate tabs. One is about us and the kitchen. In the kitchen tab, all the custom features are not arranged in the different tabs, they are placed randomly. Like the alert slider notification toggle, lock screen, battery, status bar, quick setting panel, customizations, etc. So we will see the major customization that you get here, like the first one lock screen clock color toggle. But it seems not working. Another is the lock screen shortcut, it's an old customization to add different tabs as the lock screen shortcuts on the left or the right edge. Game space feature is also added here which has all the features like the old build of Rise Droid for the interference free gaming along with the game space overlay control. Blur media artwork is available along with its blur intensity control slider but as I tested it this feature is also seems not working. ROM has the pocket mode which disables all the sensor and the hardware buttons when the phone is inside the pocket. Some interesting customization like the quick setting panel style has different options which gives something funky look to the quick setting panel as you can check on the screen. Under the personalization setting, some quick setting footer options like the data users toggle is available. Along with the power menu and the setting shortcut key, now we gauge the running services shortcut key in the footer. Actually, you can enable or disable all these three shortcuts from the panel and then it looks like this. Another different customization case like the hide label in the quick setting panel, changing time, alignment, etc. which gives the something different look to the QS panel. Another unique customizations like the setting style has been also implemented here. You get the different styles and all these gives completely different look to the display. Another toggle changing the search bar style gives the AOSP style search bar if toggled but you need to force close the settings app to make the effect work. Another toggle is the contextual homepage gives some contextual information on the top of the setting panel. In the user interface, you get the bunch of the font style icon packs for the status bar and the quick setting panel icons, navbar styles, signal icons, Wi-Fi icons and the system icon shapes. So overall developers completely added all these features from the old build of Android 12 based Rise Droid in this Android 13 based Rise Droid. So no worry about the customizations. Developer Vikas also implemented the OnePlus setting that we all knows having the OnePlus specific lots of tunables. In the system and the buttons who gets the, all the pixel based gesture features and the buttons customizations. Off screen touch gestures are also working in this ROM. 
ROM has the new Griffin camera which has some minimal additional features for the video and the camera quality improvement. It also has a QR scan setting but still it lacks most of the features so my recommendation is to use the Google Cam MC build but it has all the perks that we seen last time like the lack of slow motion, no 4K 60fps recording etc. ROM is passing the safety net but it doesn't having the wide one L1 like the old ROM. Google Photos apps having the Pixel Unlimited Photo Backup working. So it's time to check the performance of the ROM as the Rise Droid known for the fluid performance that is the signature feature of this ROM. ROM has maintained that performance in this builder so apps opening, RAM management, all the things are absolutely stunning. So all the results are almost similar to the old build like for the single core I got the score of 488 and for multi core I got the score of 1911. On the OpenGL driver API, I got the score of 2271 and for the Hulkan graphics API, I got 1925. All these reels are very good and both the numerical and the actual real world performance of the ROM is justified. Except these customizations and were 13 base, all the new features are available in the ROM. For the detailed review of these features, you can check the iCard video. Battery performance of the ROM is still not tested but I will report back it with the new video or the community post soon. But as per the initial impressions, ROM is really pretty good with the, all the custom features along with the new stable sources and the stability of Android 13 based ROM. So it's definitely recommend upgrade to the Rise.6.0. That's it for today guys. If you think I help you then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.